Hey guys, my name is Akinola Versimo, aka Black Anola, and welcome back to a new episode of the Team Attack Show. This time we're going to talk about Mario Tennis Aces for the Nintendo Switch, a game that's coming out in a couple weeks, and it's the latest entry in Camelot's tennis series. They've been making sports games for Mario for the longest time, and these games combine fun, interactive gameplay with just the awesomest music. Um, I'm going to talk to you about my online experiences with the Aces demo which is available to every Switch owner a little bit earlier in Japan, but I'm in the U.S., so I got it a few hours after that. And basically, it lasted uh, the weekend of June 1st through the 3rd. As I'm recording this video, it's going to end uh, at midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time. So I'm trying to get as many games as I, as I can in here. Now, what's available in the demo are a few things. You're allowed to go through a tutorial of sorts through the game, which will teach you the basic shots, teach you how to serve, teach you how to retrieve the ball, Basically, if you've played Mario Tennis before, it lets you know that, you know, the main gameplay aspect has not changed at all. But what's new in this version of Mario Tennis Aces is the introduction of uh, zone shots and power shots, which you, you might see on the screen once or twice. Zone shots allow you to serve up an incredibly powerful shot, and if your opponent does not return it at the right time, uh, their racket will actually lose life. Yes, that's a new mechanic. Rackets have life totals. So if you can eliminate all of your uh, opponent's rackets, you can actually straight up just KO them. So it doesn't matter if you're behind. It doesn't matter if you're about to win uh, set seven or however many sets you're playing. Once you lose your racket, like you are done. So timing is very important. Now, when you see the super powerful shots, you may wonder, well, how am I supposed to counteract that? They have this counter mechanic called zone speed, which will use your meter, which we'll talk about in a second, to slow down time and approach shots that you wouldn't even have the normal reaction time to approach. Normally, when the ball is lobbed super high and that star icon comes up, you can just smash it at crazy speed, and it's usually impossible to react to. And, you know, especially if you're on one side of the court, nine times out of ten, they'll send it to the other side of the court, and you're just not going to be able to do anything about it. With zone speed, it'll allow you to slow it down and, and, and get that shot that you otherwise would not get. So if zone speed is activated by just holding R when the ball's on the near side of the court, slows time down, you can you can get up to it, knock it back, and you're good to go. Um, meter. Well, you need meter to do all these crazy things, and you gain meter by uh, t holding up the attack button of whatever shot that you're trying to do, you know, charging your shot. And every 10 rallies, you'll get more uh, meter as well. And you use this meter to use zone speed, your super shots, your zone shots. Uh, it's all woven in, and this is the, the new point of tennis that they're selling right now. Now, you can play tennis without all of the power-ups, thank goodness. There are some people who are a bit more competitive, like me, and don't like to rely on jank. But for people who want a more authentic tennis experience, uh, you are able to play without any power-ups or anything like that. You just play with the five regular shots, and they include the top spin, the slice, the flat shot, uh, the drop shot, and the lob. So you're going to need to read the ball where it's going and just use your position on the court to determine the best shot. Uh, people may be wondering, oh man, how do I, is there any more depth to the shots? I'm noticing when I'm playing against heavy characters that I'm being knocked back a significant amount when I try and return topspin. Well, in this game, it's very important what shot you end up using. Um, you could end up just topspinning the day in, day out, till the cows come home. But each shot actually has a counter mechanic to eliminate knockback from a person's opposing shot, which actually diversifies the gameplay a little bit. If somebody sends topspin at you, you counter it with a slice. If somebody sends a slice at you, you counter it with topspin. If somebody sends a flat shot at you, you send it, uh, you counter a... Uh, Counter with a flat shot. And you're like, oh, why don't I just use flat shot all the time? Well, flat shot does not have the ability to uh, fly at the court at high speed unless it's a, at a very, very high angle. So I love the top spin, especially with power characters. So you, you see me playing Mario or Bowser, you just abuse top spin. But the thing about top spin is that, you know, it's a very predictable path. Like it's going to bounce high and it's going to come at high speed. So you know, you, you slow things down with a slice. Or somebody's throwing a slow slice at you, you, you counteract it with a, with a top spin. So that is how you are able to solidify your position on the court and make sure that you're, um, you're never in a bad position because it's very easy 
to uh, it's very easy to send the ball back in such a way that it gives your opponent an advantage. You might notice that there are a lot more star icons appearing on the court. Um, you'll be happy to know that it's easier than ever to return the ball, in my personal opinion. But at the same time, this creates opportunities for your opponent to capitalize on you. If you want to do a zone shot, what you got to do is you stand in the star mark and press R before the ball hits the ground. That'll allow you to activate a target reticule, which you can aim the ball anywhere on the court. And the longer that you take to aim the shot, the more meter it takes. So it's very important for you to not spam your meter and to save it so that you have zone speed to recover unreturnable balls or to put some pain onto your opponent. And there are other opportunities in which if you don't aim the ball properly, you'll get outs, you'll hit the net. I mean, all the normal rules of tennis still apply. So it's very important to make sure that you're aware of your opponent's position, you're aware of where you're at, and use all the tools at your disposal. You'll be happy to know you're not gonna be able to use anything until the bar is about a third full, which is indicated by a yellow circle. When, you're, when your icon turns are uh, yellow, then you're able to do all your power-ups. Also, you can also zone serve. Uh, the game doesn't teach you that in the basic tutorial, but it does in the advanced tutorial. And what will happen is if you input the command for zone shot, which is R by default, when you're serving, you can just smash it at high speed and it can throw your opponent off. Now, if you attempt to return a zone shot too early, you will take racket damage. You only take one damage. So in this demo, you are given two lives uh, with three stock each. So if you return a bad shot, you'll lose one. You lose all three life stocks, uh, you'll lose a racket. Lose two rackets and you are out of the game. Um, some people may be inquiring, oh, where's lunging? Well, lunging is in the form of trick shots now. Trick shots will uh, fancily put your character either in front, back, or side to side. Uh, you still have to read where the ball is going, but the great thing about these shots is you're able to return balls without using too much meter. If you input the command for trick shots too early, you'll lose meter. This makes it so you can't spam it all the time and you can't rely on it as a crutch. If you do it with perfect timing, you'll end up either not losing meter or even better, if it's with super perfect timing, you'll gain meter. So if you can determine where the ball is going to go every single time, you can trick shot like, you know, trick shot and return it. And it can return it, slice, top spin, drop shot, and uh, flat shot, depending on which uh, which input is put in, up, down, left, or right. You can use the right stick by default, or you can input a couple button combinations uh, for people who don't want to mess with a stick. Mario Tennis Aces is one of the most beautiful games on the Switch. Uh, it doesn't run in 1080, unfortunately, but um, there are little optimization tricks to make it just look and pop and feel like it's a next-gen tennis game. It doesn't have the best graphics in the world, but the effects you see from hitting the ball and seeing the characters do their super moves is crazy. Uh, the roster seems pretty robust. You've got Mario, you're gonna have Luigi, you've got Toad, Rosalino, Waluigi, um, Bowser, uh, Spike from Super Mario Brothers 3, and even more characters are gonna be available to unlock. Um, the data that you use from this demo is going to carry over into the main demo and hopefully we won't have to unlock more characters. I know that you'll get Mario's default outfit from playing the demo, uh, but whether the characters stay unlocked from demo to full game is something that we still have to see. So that's my review of the demo in a nutshell. I mean, I love Mario tennis games. I've been playing since the N64. They're great fun. I personally played uh, doubles with my friend Vlad I go to Jersey and uh, we get a whole bunch of friends together and we just have a ball. It is a great game to play with friends. And also this game is going to be online. So no matter what, you're going to be able to play with your friends online next to you. And if they uh, mess up on the court, you can, you, can, you can punch them in the arm. So it all works out. So what do you guys think about Mario Tennis Aces? Let me know in the comments and let me know what character you're looking forward to uh, playing. And when the game comes out, we'll take a look at the single player mode and uh, review that as well. But as for the demo, if you haven't picked it up and you're already watching this video, please go, please go play it because there's only three weeks until it comes out and I could not be more excited. So that's gonna do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys haven't already subbed, 
Uh, go ahead and hit the sub button and also make sure to hit that bell so you're notified of new review videos that come out on these Nintendo games. It's been a pleasure, guys. I'm Black Enola, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.